Well, here's some more brain poison. I'd like to um, I'd like to close Nato out. O'Rourke. I'd like to close <laughs> out uh, the episode today. Uh, this is the new kick I've been on. Are you guys familiar with the uh, actor Robert Davi? Oh yeah, yeah. He was a, in a, a Timothy Dalton bomb movie. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not who he was. was in License to Kill. Uh, famously, has well, the best line in Showgirls. It must be weird to have a job where they don't come on you. Yeah, he's, he's um, in Showgirls. He's like a, a sort of a, a character actor. You, if you're on Twitter, you may know him from Nando's hilarious story about being on an airline flight with him, where he like walks onto the plane singing Frank Sinatra. And then demands to be sat next to like an attractive woman, and then, he, and then tries to serenade her throughout the flight. No, no, he oh. played Sinatra songs on his phone at full volume without a fucking headphone. Oh, okay, that's what he did. Oh, he covered. He, he He's also a Rat does, like, Pack guy. Yeah, he like, He's he one co- of these just decrepit boomers for whom life never got better. That like, if you gave them a time machine. They wouldn't stop Hitler. They wouldn't see the birth of Christ. They would go to the Sands Casino <laughs> see, in 1961. Like, the famous the, Bobby Darren drunk concert. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just let me see those original Rat Pack boys just doing banter and singing their hits. That I mean, for anyone who complains about culture now, I do have to say, for about 20 years, the only culture was just guys with a three-inch layer of grease on their skins and big suits driving big cars yeah. Yeah. and, like, singing spaghetti songs, <laughs> in my, you know, my lasagna baby, yeah. like and then sh- do it, do, doing hilarious comedy shows where they would call each other gay. Yep. Not in the way we do it, which is smart yes. and subversive. There's, like, a tremendous red flag, anybody that's, like, not of that era that, like, looks back on it and is kind of like, you know, I like the ring-a-ding-ding guys. Those yeah. were good. Yeah, that's, someone like who the- wants, that's someone who only wants to get married so they can kill their wife. <laughs> If so, you're into that as like a millennial, you are going. You're pre-crime minority that, report. That is, yeah. I gotta say, it's like that is one of the saving graces of millennials is that I can't think of that. That's not really a current among millennial youth. The last time that really reared its head, of course, was swingers. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's yeah. yeah which is yeah. Yeah. Jo- that's me and Matt. Uh, guess yeah, what generation? That guess what generation that was? Those were ex- Xers. That's Those right. Were Xers. Who was that? Right, There's yeah. a conservative radio dude that recorded like an album of standards from that era. Do, oh, yeah. Are Mark, you aware? Uh, Mark Stein. Mark yes. Stein. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark Stein does, yeah. Like a lot of them have this like fake lounge lizard act. And if you look at Robert's um Avi, it's for his album Davi Singh Sinatra oh on the road to romance. Speaking of what? fucking David Lynch images, that's <laughs> yeah. it, like some no high Bonda <laughs> shit right there. <laughs> like <just laughs> completely he's oh it's a photo God. of him, especially it, it's the blue light. Yeah, yeah. and so and Davi is famously a, a pockmarked heavy. Like that's oh, his yeah. thing. He's, he's a had very a good craggy faced character. And in actor. this case, he is so washed out by the light and presumably photoshopped that he just looks embalmed. Yeah, he looks like it's Mr. Incredible. Burns is the alien. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, I, Robert I, Davi brings you love. If I could, <laughs> if I could like do like a, a cultural revolution in America, my main thing would be to destroy all nostalgia of Frank Sinatra and the Rat Pack. It is very bad. Yeah. But I want, I demand, I demand a documentary where it is just a series of interviews of every person who saw that fucking CD and thought, you know what? I'm sick of listening to Sinatra, <laughs> one of the best singers of the 20th century, <laughs> sing these songs. I'd rather have the guy from Maniac Cop 2 right. lay these down. What the fuck is going on? So, yeah, here? Asshole from the Living Daylights. I don't know if there's that much of a Sinatra hagiography hey, outside of Italians. No, yeah. no, no, no. It's just a general. It's a. It's a. Moron it's dying. Thing. It yeah. is dying. It's. Yeah. Like, it was a boomer thing, and then there's a vestigial yeah. swinger thing with he- Xers. But, but not even that big. Like, it, it does feel passe, like it's, it is dying. But, but out. the boomer generation it was kind of passe by so, then, right? I, I got the details of his story. Right, look up um, Nando's Robert Davi airplane story. It's a classic. It, it's pretty amazing because it's it's him grotesquely hitting on uh, women and demanding to like change seats so he can sit next to a woman and and croon to her on a cross country <laughs> flight oh or my something. God. How dire so, was it that that like that's how you had sex back then? You just like you. Oh, he sang me a song called like Blue Moon Sweetheart, <laughs> or like a song about how like you never quit in pursuit of your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow, this guy seems what like a, he so never quits in pursuit terrible of his dreams. Cultural moment. So taking all of that, everything I've just told you about, like this is the brief on uh, Robert. This is the profile on Robert Davi. It's also funny because he also starred in the 90s TV series, The Profile. Wow, well done. Yeah, about FBI serial <laughs> killer hunters. So anyway, uh, would it surprise you to learn that this person is a huge fan of Donald Trump? No way. <laughs> what? No, I, 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 not actually, only that, not only that, not only is he a huge fan of our president, 
He is also Angry Guy Ransom Carr. And he's taking that format to new heights. And I'd like to share with you now some of his recent Robert Davi rants in a car. This is the type of film I am a connoisseur of. Okay. This is like my this, genre. This is the first one. This is just from uh, January 15th. This is just the title is To the American People in all caps. Let's just take a look at what Robert has to say. Let's take a listen. My dear fellow Americans, the fact that the Democrats would not sit down with the president this afternoon for a lunch with both sides trying to negotiate <laughs> this security, which is of national importance to our nation. The fact that they're digging their heels in on a thing that is being led by an elitist movement. It's an elitist movement, guaranteed. You understand? Not having border security. Triple the Democrats have been co-opted by an elitist movement. They are no longer your mother and father's Democratic Party. They were not the party that wanted... Uh, the end to slavery. They fought the uh, end of slavery. The Democratic Party. They did not want civil rights. The Democratic Party did not want that. Do you understand? They do not want border security. They want a one world government. That's what Bill Ayers and his elk wanted. Bill Ayers was an Obama uh, protege, or uh, uh, Obama was a protege of Bill Ayers. They wanted world communism. That's what this is about. World communism. Obama Fuck, did world communism. This. You've got to he fight. Did it. You've got to tell the American people and the Democrats that do not agree with this leadership to sit down at the table and come up with an issue. Come up with a plan. Build the wall. Give the wall. Give drones, whatever is needed to secure our nation. The drugs are killing people. The fentanyl that's been coming across this country is crazy. It's insane. <laughs> I've known about this since the mid 90s and before. Why don't they do something about it? Please call your congressman, call Pelosi, call Schumer until their phones burn up. This is wrong. Um, Go off, super King. angry guy. Go energy. off. <laughs> yeah. I, okay, okay. I give this a C. In really? Terms of the genre. Yes, I do. B minus here. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I thought, yeah, I thought it sucked ass. Not a good. All right. Really. So okay, here's. Here, I here, think you got here, very here, angry though. Here's no, 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 no. People. Seem that angry. No, 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 no. The car genre is not good because of just its sustained anger throughout. The car genre is powerful because whatever buffoon is recording himself, the front of his mind is distracted. They're usually not actually driving, but you just... No, he's parked. Yeah. Right. The task of being in a car distracts their <laughs> walnut-sized brain long enough that they can sort of build a yarn. And there's a lot of mea <laughs> meandering in this type of video. And eventually it escalates. If you recall the classics in this genre, uh, you Dan know... Quinn. Amiri King. Two, Amiri King and Dan Quinn. They're two, I'd say, like, the, the, Lynch, the Lynch and uh, Kubrick of the genre. Dan Quinn is Kubrick because of his expansive worlds. But they will go on some bizarre, it'll be very slow, slow building. And then either through an action outside of the car, like Dan Quinn's mom querying the deal by knocking on the window, <laughs> and we never know if he beat nine hits to the same bowl, or Amiri King remembering, you know, times that he was proven right to not have friends, you know, past instances of having friends and why it's stupid. We get we get our climax. We get an explosion of anger. But Robert Davi just starts at, at an eleven, and it feels very forced. It feels like his grand his like grandson was in the garage and was like, "You said you'd take me to Sports Authority." And he's like, "Oh shit, I have to knock this out." And he I, did, but at what cost? Just very also, middling also, effort by Mr. Dobby. Yeah, beyond that, content-wise, it's just regurgitated, half-assed stuff he remembers from a Denise D'Souza movie. Oh, yeah, the Democrats, they did slavery. Remember that? You know, we're world government. Uh, come on, give me Bill, some texture. Bill, Bill give me Ayers. Something. Bill I Ayers. Really? Yeah, I, I, like I don't it. need, I don't oh. need like, the, 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 the fucking greatest hits of the Obama administration yelled at me by the bad guy from Cops and Robertson. Okay. <laughs> Will, Will, Will okay. this is why, here's why the car genre gives us such classics because the freedom of being a car in a car a liberatory state for the stupid man yeah <laughs> it, it it allows their mind to wander and go to places we never thought of this is where dan quinn thought of the weed smoking olympics that were also the <laughs> pussy eating olympics this is where this is where amiri king came up with the idea that if you're a grown man who has friends that's childish and you're going to be stabbed in the back this is where millions of great thoughts respawn except he gives us things that would have been passe uh, in 2009, very very wow. middling effort. By okay, well, Robert I mean, I, I yeah, don't, you have a, don't you have a whole thesis about uh, cars and AM radio and how this is that is mad. Yeah. 
Oh, that was bad. Oh, okay. I think that was, that many people have talked about how AM radio was. Well, it made more, people smarter. I, yeah, that's I what I said. I appreciate. I appreciate his energy, and I appreciate. I appreciate the Dinesh D'Souza cuts. I think he's yeah, focused. I, mean, I thought there was something kind of autistic about I think he's about intense, the... and he's bringing his act. Okay, l- l- let's do another one. Oh uh, yeah, let's show me another. Show me another. Give me something. Okay, that I... this one isn't in a car, but David, could you could you describe for us like what that's just this still image? All is? right, so he is in a haunted house. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. He's, uh, he appears to be on a couch, possibly in a recording studio. He is uh, in the sort of, I mean, again, very uh, stylized lighting. Not Lynchian, but I guess like Fincher-ish. This is kind of like found spot. footage. I yeah, it's kind of greenish. He's wearing sunglasses, despite the fact that it's extremely dark. He's wearing a pork pie hat. Mm. And he loves that shit. Oh yeah, and again, it is my fellow Americans. It's not clear uh, it is addressed to them, but it doesn't say to. I, Let's I, hear it. But right now, I'm a swing voter because I'm really on the side of Felix and. Matt, I have but. not actually seen this one, so I'm. So this is a, this right, is a surprise this is to me. Right, okay, here we go. My dear fellow Americans, if I read yet another story by the New York Times or another media outlet about Russian collusion and Mueller's investigation and all this other nonsense, I'm going to go apoplectic. It's crazy. It's insane. It's a disservice to the American people. Not a threat people. at all. Okay? It's white noise. There is no Russian collusion. There is no Russian collusion. China and Russia, in 2008, they tapped the DNC and the RNC. They got into their websites. They did all of this collusion back then. No one talked about it like crazy at infinitum. This is nonsense. The guy's a businessman. Trump's a businessman. <laughs> He was on Oprah 20 years ago saying the same things now. Remember when Roche Perot said that sucking sound of American jobs or yes. NAFTA? NAFTA was a mistake. Indeed. They don't want Trump. These globalist bastards don't want Trump to do this for America. Stop the nonsense. Garbage. Awful. First of all, no, halting please. delivery. He keeps stopping, which is always a bad sign. Can Once again, starts or starts at the top and doesn't. Say, he, begins, he begins with a he begins with a, a, a not a, a, not even a threat. He says, "If I hear another word about this, I'm gonna get mad." Yeah, oh, no, okay, oh, okay, oh, I, I like, I like not this. even like if I hear a, another word about this, I'm gonna go fucking you know take my assault rifle and occupy a dress bar and parking no, lot. No, I like this. I like this because he's more honest with himself. The the setting the setting is more honest to Mr. Davi. Uh, dressing up like an absolute buffoon in, as David says, a haunted house. Uh, and I think th- this is an, autor- an auteur's choice of having the most empty type of empty threat, having no threat at the end of it. I give this one a higher grade than the previous video. Okay, one last one. I just wish he would get more. He, like I said, just the content is just... It's I had this fear warm. that he was it's from New Jersey because of his voice, but he's from, he's from Queens, he's from Astoria. I, I, I believe that if he let the action build... He would have a more satisfying work. Well, of this art. is like, if, if, good, like but he doesn't. This yeah. is constructive criticism for Mr. Davi. If you're out there, all right. One last one. This one is just again addressed to the American people, but not capitalized. He is in a car. He is wearing giant purple sunglasses. Oh, I saw this one. There's a trick in it. You the should, other problem. Okay. Make sure to point it out. The other problem is, and this is in both of them. He repeats himself, says the same thing over and over again for emphasis, and it's just redundant. Get out of here. He, it's like he's just doing his first take and putting it out. Exactly. There. It's sloppy. Only one guy can do that. My dear Mr. Schumer, I find what you're doing is absolutely <laughs> disingenuous. You're lying to the American people. All right. <laughs> How many times are you going to continue to sit there like a rotten corpse with a bald-faced lie on your face? Yes. You, I saw you, sir, <laughs> vote for the wall. <laughs> you voted for a wall, sir, several years ago. So did Miss Pelosi. So did the Democratic Party when they wanted $50 billion for border security. That it's was true. the American people don't remember <laughs> that. that? that How come the networks aren't down. showing your flip flopping? Show that CNN, MSNBC, show Schumer wanting a wall and now saying it's un-American, it's immoral. What about 50 billion babies being killed, sir what? and madam? Is that not immoral? What the hell is going on in this country? You want to gerrymander this population. That's what you want to do. You want to gerrymander this population because they're all coming from a Marxist socialist society and background. What the hell is going on in this nation? People wake up, see through their nonsense and through the media industrial complex. His strongest performance yet. Okay. To, uh, to his no, absolute yeah, yeah. strongest Dave, performance. Dave, fill fill right. him in of like if you're not watching this, like a little trick that you may have So, missed. yeah, this is the thing. And I saw this when you uh, yeah. retweeted it. Yeah. Thank you for that, by the way. <laughs> yeah, the you're, other welcome. Day, you're welcome. He, again, with the big sunglasses, they are of a kind of a purple Jolly Rancher hue. 20 seconds in, he lowers them down his nose and peers over them intently. And then 10 seconds after that, pushes them back up. Also, the car is moving this time, which I think is worth I give this. I 
Four stars. Ooh. This uh, is the best one yet. My problem is, is that I don't like the sir shit. That's for Democrats. Oh. No, no. Come on. No, the, no that's he, for anyone who has respect. No, yeah. He's that's doing, for any man who has respect. He has, has, Robert Davi is a man of respect. He has sure, respect it. the misuse of word gerrymander this. Jerry I Mandy. love yeah. that. Yeah. I love Wonderful. that so well, the, much. The big words to sound like a non-moron is very endearing. I'll give him that. That's, is, very, that's very fucking bridge and tunnel. I will uh, say genuinely, uh, I did like him New calling York Chuck area. Schumer a rotting corpse. That was accurate. Accurate. Okay, accurate. here there are three. three uh, now, this is not essential in all great car videos, but these are three points you want to hit on if you're one of these filmmakers one <laughs> misuse big words and just don't even come close to their actual application no, no, don't even get near it just you feel like it sounds ominous so you say it uh you are you're juxtaposing you, this nation yeah chuck, <laughs> Schumer, Madam Pelosi. Chuck, chuck schuber you are the penultimate senator right? <laughs> uh the uh saying something that is kind of technically right a little bit well i the mean let's again it's like yes they voted for border security as part of a bipartisan bill that Republicans would not support now and is there's none of it is part of the not not, not just not just that I mean the thing is when uh, Republicans point out how uh, Democrats have uh, voted for this security state on the border uh, that is correct and we should reckon with that both Obama and Hillary voted in 2006 for billions of dollars to yeah. build a fucking fence and received no concession. Well, that was the idea on behalf of be, migrants, on behalf be... of undocumented people in this country. Yeah, but it also didn't pass because it was, no, in 2006 it passed, but it wasn't signed. That right? wasn't no, no, that no, no, that passed. You're thinking about the uh, uh, bipartisan uh, uh, immigration reform that McCain tried to pursue in 2007, which went nowhere. All right, all right. Why don't you? But go, in 2006, right. they did that. They did that because that's how fucking shitty the Democrats were back all right, then. All right, why don't you? But I would like to say though that he did not. He says, "I saw you, sir. No, you had no idea that happened. You saw a meme with like Colonel Sanders on it last week." <laughs> So all right, said, all right. they voted for it in two thousand six, and he's got like the the epic Wonka face. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's some that's some free range derp. You guys need to take this to Ballotpedia. That, 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 you got like at least two more points on filmmaking, right? No, to... we're talking about the genre. What is makes what makes the car genre great because it it is man's struggle against his own brain. He's trying to both move the car and move his mind, and he's can only really do one or or none or none. He's probably he probably just backed that car up into like a you know adopt a highway club sign <laughs> eventually. But uh, what makes this great is like he'll circle around an okay like something that is technically true and then just plow right through. Also, you're killing 50 billion babies, yeah, and you're gerrymandering yeah, them. Yeah. And that's why it's great. That's why it's great. They hover around a concise point. They hover. They don't even touch it, but they hover around it. Then, boom, right back into fucking 82 IQville. Wonderful. So you're filibustering Western civilization. <laughs> I have a question about, so there's one other filmic element of the video, which you did not see. He's wearing a seatbelt. Is that normal? Uh, for these or not? Um, usually no, but because you're usually because you're usually sometimes stationary. Sometimes it's alluded to by the filmmaker. It's a part of the film. Usually they are stationary, right? right. In my right. experience, they're, they're, and some, but sometimes they're driving without a seatbelt. But sometimes they are, and it'll be part of the film. It'll be part of the narrative. Like, oh, there's a cop coming up. I have to put this on. They're mm-hmm. doing. They're pulling over people without seatbelts instead of arresting gangbangers for sagging their pants. <laughs> and so I've watched a lot of these. Yeah, but I, can I don't think Mr. Mr. Davi. This is his. Uh, this is, this is his first foray into this genre. Right. I think as he goes on, he's going to add things. I, he would benefit from a longer runtime. I, I think he feels rushed. He's only doing, like, these are a minute each. You know, yeah, like, the, the classic ones go on forever. But I give him credit because I just think he's coming with a lot of anger. I think he's just coming with that heat. You know? I like that one because it did not have the stammers and the false starts and the pauses of the other one. So he blazed right through it. It's also 50 got, billion babies. It's got the anger but yeah, it has the the dada shit but then also it's like it's a confused grandparental sort of anger which I think is like it, anybody can yell at a camera. Obviously I've not watched as many of these certainly as Felix or probably as the rest of you as well. But there's something about that where it's like it, it feels like somebody like haranguing a nephew at a family event which is like totally like a, as an actor he's doing a little bit of work there because you can see that he's in fact like in a car on the 405 being driven somewhere. 